This is chapter one, cause we finna roll. Now, if I'm talking too fast, that mean you. If you feel like I'm talking too fast, that mean you're living it too slow. So you gonna have to put some pepper in your step. But we gotta roll tonight. I ain't even got time to sit down and eat. But we thank the Lord for all the things He done provided for us on this tabernacle. Be able to sit back and all eat together. I pray if it be God's will. Genesis chapter one and one. I pray if it be God's will that of all those who desire to be joined to be knit unto us to be members of this body of this congregation that the Lord see fit to make a way for you to be here not just to visit but to be here permanently that we might all fellowship and, and be one together till it's time for us to make our way back to Jerusalem that we might meet that soon coming king y'all hear me you got your plate young man I was asking huh? My parents on? I didn't know if they brought yours in there. And my parents on? Somebody get my gun. Genesis chapter 1 and 1. Somebody get my gun. That's good. I'm calling the So, if I'm sure going to prison for about for 315. <laughs> Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. I ain't even allowed to own no gun. Right. You know what I'm talking about? I can't even have one. How many of y'all can't own no gun? I ain't been law it ain't been lawful for me to own a gun since July 2000. In the beginning God created heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and morning were the first day. Now look at y'all here. You can hold your peak. I know y'all know. What y'all think this here just occurred right here? Gentlemen, what y'all think just occurred when you hear that man say the earth was not born, it was void, it was dark? Then the spirit moved. And then there was light. What y'all think that's talking about? Don't everybody talk at one time now. Mm -hmm. We know they're talking. We know they're talking about the Messiah, but what specifically is they talking about? I want y'all to come to John chapter eleven by verse five. See, we were talking about because for some reason these Israelites be out here fighting when the day starts. I had no idea what the purpose of that is, but these niggas fight and argue about it all day long. John chapter eleven by verse five. We're going to try to roll tonight. We got to roll. We got to roll. If something is void, what is it without? Well, I just answered and said, if something void is without something, then I pretty much answered that definition and pretty much messed it up. I was trying to say something else. I spoke too soon. But let's look at John chapter 11, verse 5. Matter of fact, make it one. He said, Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. It was Mary that that which it, it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother, whose brother Lazarus, was sick. Therefore, his sister sent unto him, saying, "Lord, behold, he whom thou love is sick." When Yahshua heard that, he said, "The sickness is not unto death." You heard what he said? It's not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. See, when he said, "Let there be light," the Son of God was glorified right then. Let's see what else he said. Now, Yahshua loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that, he said he to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of, the, of, the, of late sought to stone thee. And thou goest hither again. Yahshua answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumble not, because he see the light of the world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumble because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleep, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. These things said he, he said, then it said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall be well. Howbeit Yahshua spake of his death, but they thought he had spoken of taking a rest in sleep. Now you see how this man says 12 hours in a day? So these dudes think, well he didn't say it was 12 hours in the night, so it can only be 12 hours in a complete day cycle. When we just sat back and heard that man say the evening and the morning, and that was the first day. Let's sit back in Genesis 1 and 1, see that one more time. Or Genesis 1 and 3. 
verse 5. It, I mean, this is not that difficult, but also there's a spiritual concept to this. Because he said, this man is asleep. Just like I said with them babies in there. I said, that's a perfect place for a baby to go to sleep because it's pitch black. Ain't no light. Ain't nobody going to want to sit up. Ain't no child going to want to sit up and be woke and move around if it's completely dark. That first foot of light, they're going to wake up, ain't But as long as it's dark in there, they're going to be like this here at nighttime. I'm talking about you could put a child in there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. They wouldn't know if it was 9 o'clock. That's how dark it would be in there. 